Kia ora, thanks Brendan. Well, actress Antonia Preble recently said goodbye to West Auckland and hello to the Garden City. She's here to tell us more. Kia ora and welcome Antonia. Hello. How are you this morning? I'm very well, thanks. And very you're coming to be here. That's right. And of course, there was a valid reason why you made the move from West Auckland to down there in the Garden City of Christchurch. Tell us about your new role. Yes, I'm playing Sally Bowles in Cabaret, which is the musical um, at the Court Theatre. So I've been down here for two months now, and I've got another two months to go. Yeah, and, and there were two firsts for you. This is your first time in a major role in theatre, as well as your first day in Christchurch. Yeah, yeah, it's my first major role in a musical, um, so that was a very big step. And yeah, I'd only ever come to Christchurch for, I think, a day when I was about 20. So this is, um, yeah, the first time I've actually had any time to explore it. And it's lovely. I'm having a really great time. And I hear when you were doing some rehearsals down there, you, you had a few of the aftershocks. Tell us about it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Funnily enough, it was my first day of rehearsals and um, it was a, quite a significant one. Apparently it was the biggest aftershock since the big quake. Mm. And I, w I was in the theatre and um, all the power went out and all the lighting rig above us was shaking and we all had to be evacuated. And I kind of thought, oh gosh, what have I got myself into? But that's been the most serious. Uh, there hasn't been anything else like that since, so it's okay. <laughs> mm. So how have you found playing this new role of, of Sally Bowles? Um, really exciting, really challenging. I feel like I've learned a lot because I've never had to um, sing by myself on stage before, which has its own challenges. And um, she's and she's just such an iconic role, and she's an, she is iconic for very good reasons because she's so fascinating and complex. So it's been yeah a wonderful discovery, really working out who she is. And also because we've got such a long season, it's three months, mm. you get to keep evolving it. And it's, it's great to be working on such a, a good show because with such a good character, mm. because there's always more to discover and it never gets stale. Yeah. And Tony, you mentioned that the role is quite complex. Did you have to do some sort of research and go back to, of course, it was a role that was made famous by Liza Minnelli back in 1972. Did you have to go back and have a look at footage and other musicals since then? Um, yeah, I did watch the movie, which I hadn't actually seen before, and that was very helpful in some ways, but also that the movie deviated quite significantly from the play. Mm -hmm. But it was, it was great to see anyway. And then I also watched... Um, a version that was made by the Donmar Warehouse in England that's on the, the internet, which was really helpful because that's more similar to the show we're doing. Mm. Yeah. And uh, how, how has it been received by the audiences thus far? Yeah, I, I think people seem to really like it. Um, it's, a, it's a difficult show. It's quite polarising in many ways because of the very serious subject matter. It's um, set in the 1930s in Berlin as the Nazis are coming to power. So on, on some levels it's very exciting and fun and there, and there are these amazing show numbers that are a bit naughty and everyone can really enjoy. Mm. But underneath there's this extremely serious undercurrent that really hits you. So... Yeah, some audiences um, sort of come for the fun of it and then other audiences are very moved by it. So it's been, yeah, every, every night's different. But in general, it seems to be positive, so that's good. Wonderful, <laughs> wonderful. Hey, Antonio, of course, we know you from your role from With Outrageous. You stepped away from it. It was the big finale this year. Uh, you missing it? You missing the, yes. the television side of things? Yeah, I, I do miss Outrageous. Um, I don't miss necessarily being on TV because I feel very... It's wonderful, you know, being... Um, in the theatre at the moment, but mm. I do miss Outrageous. I miss all the people because, well, we were working together for five years for 12 hours a day and it is it is bizarre not seeing them every day. So, yeah, I, I do miss it, um, but I also feel like it was a good time to end it when, when it was still mm. on a high and everyone was still enjoying it. So, yeah, I feel... I, I sort of feel nostalgic about it, I guess. Mm. Yeah. So you've, you've done television, you've done now theatre, Anything else on your wish list? Film. <laughs> film? You, you've never been in a film before? I've never been in a film. No, I did, I've done one telly feature, which is sort of a film length production, but made specifically for TV. So I've never done a feature film, and I'd, yeah, I'd love to do that. It's sort of, I don't know, it seems like the next sort of step up in a way. So I'd love to have the opportunity to do that at some point, but who knows? Oh, I think it'll be great to we'll see, see you in, in a film real soon, Antonia. So uh, oh, thank watch you. the space. I'm sure we're going to see you in one uh, very shortly. Now, it's Christmas very shortly. What are your plans? 
Um, well, I'm from Wellington originally, so we get five days off over Christmas, so I'm going to go home and spend that with my family and then come back down for a few shows. And we've also got a show on New Year's Eve down here, which is a You're bit of a You're working New Year's Eve? Yes, we are. <laughs> We're doing a show. But it's quite apt, really, because the first um, part of Cabaret is actually set on New Year's Eve. So right. it's, it's yeah, quite appropriate, that's right. then. Sort of it's very appropriate. fits in with the plot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, Antonia, it has been wonderful to have you on the show this morning. Best of luck Thanks. with the remaining season with Cabaret. Have a very safe Christmas and a very happy New Year down in Christchurch when you'll be performing on New Year's Eve. And uh, we'll talk Thank to you, you again soon. Yeah, great. Okay. Take care.